Welcome back to the CJ vs. AJ podcast. This is CJ, still playing um, Virtual Bart, the Let's Play slash walkthrough slash review. I'm still playing solo, and hopefully I'll be playing something different than the last two rage-inducing games that I got my ass kicked in. Alright, I'm not hoping for the baby bottle. I'm not hoping for the pig one because I could never figure out how to get through that one. The atomic explosion and the tomato are the ones that I'm uh, wishing to get. And there we go. Right, this, I think, is probably the only fun mini game in the collection. Uh, basically, the goal is to just hit everyone with tomatoes. Uh, it's a matter of being able to time your throws. Every mattering um, where their distance is gives you like how many points you get for it. Uh, I need to get a hang of this again. This is going really poorly. I used to be really good at this. Rocky Millhouse. Oh man. You can't hit Chief Wiggum, um, otherwise he, I believe, takes away your points. I guess for shits and giggles I'll hit him. Or not, you know. It was the A for effort. It's not that exciting in retrospect, or you know. What is the present tense for retrospect? Is that even a word? Or is that just... spec? I got half the class. My wife is sitting here in the background just grinning at me for being an idiot. I think it was just spec that did her in. Alright, tomato, tomato, tomato. Hey, sure, I'll take an extra life. I haven't had corn on the cob in ages. My teeth probably thank me. I probably still have corn in my teeth from the last time I had corn in the cup. Oh, no. oh f fuck six. Right. I am going to do you all a favor and I'm going to commit suicide. Yeah, oh yeah, how do you like it? I'm just going to chase you. Look <laughs> at these dopey looking motherfuckers. My wife is deciding to speak up, and she's saying, it looks like I'm chasing things to hump them. Um, Bart is ten years old, and what she said is very inappropriate. Um, I'm pretty sure that Chris Hansen's on his way to her apartment right now. Oh, oh let me feel your little dinosaur bump. <laughs> this is now the theme of the podcast. Dinosaur, undinosaur, prehistoric love. Prehistoric hubba hubba. What the fuck is the Stegosaurus? There we go. There's never really been a great dinosaur game. Um, there was one game on the Xbox that never came out. I think it was something... I think it was like BC and it was supposed to be an open world dinosaur hunting game where you were a caveman and you had to sort of figure out ways to kill things. It was essentially a uh, third-person... Oh, no. oh, are you kidding me? A third-person action-adventure uh, similar to Monster Hunter. It's like... it loaded me up mid-game. Uh, similar to Monster Hunter. Uh, and it looked fantastic, you know, you got to create your character from scratch. Um, build them up sort of like a Sims character, you know, what they look like, their strengths and weaknesses. And yet, you know, go and scavenge and try to survive in the uh, dinosaur wilderness. Uh, and I was super disappointed when they cancelled the project, I guess probably from a cost perspective, or they just didn't have the technology at the time to actually make that sort of open world um, game a reality, which is really unfortunate. Uh, the best other dinosaur games that I can think of are, none of them are particularly good. Uh, Primal Rage. Um, 
That's it. Uh, that's the end of the list. Uh, there's the Jurassic Park games, which I've played one for the Let's Plays already, and that was um, a piece of shit. Don't. Uh, give me corn and take it away. Um, Torok, I guess you can rationalize, was a decent dinosaur game. Actually, no. The best one I can think of was uh, the 360 version of King Kong. Uh, it, where you sort of got to throw spears at velociraptors and whatnot. That was actually a decent game. Take my time. Let's not rush things. Yeah, that worked out. Uh, I don't even know who this girl in the red is, but the tomato's not really going to show up on her dress anyway, so it's not like I'm being that mean. Nothing's coming up, Millhouse! Oh yeah. Alright, now I'm caught between wanting to hit Wiggum, just to show you guys what happens, and wanting to actually complete this level. What do you guys want me to do? Tell me. Put it in the comments right now and I'll read it. I, I don't know if that gets me in trouble. Fuck, it does, it ends the level. Fuck, thanks a lot guys. Whoever said hit Principal, uh... Seymour, that, that's your fault. Shame on you. Pox on your house. Oh, Alright guys, that, alright, we're just gonna keep playing. Uh, hopefully it's not the fucking dinosaur game again. I want to show you the, uh, little apocalypse minigame, and then anything else just raises my blood pressure. I guess I could do the practice area, if I can figure out how to actually go back. Maybe then I get to just choose the minigame. I don't actually remember. I could have easily have played this before I started recording, but what sort of fun is that? I cannot back out. I don't want to do this one again. I am going to commit 10 year old suicide. Not to get too dark, but are there any, you know, 10 year olds and stuff that actually commit suicide? Or is that sort of an advanced level of uh, thought process that actually happens with, you know... Alright, I'm gonna shut up. This isn't really something that needs to be in a YouTube Let's Play. I can see the comments now and the links to, like, I don't know, suicide forums. There's gonna be protests and stuff. I don't need my Let's Plays protested. Oh, hey, that was a short way to end the video. Things got awkwardly silent, and I apologize. I apologize if I offended any families of children who have committed suicide. But really, you should not be giving them guns. If a 10 year old has access to a shotgun, that's really the fault of the parents. Alright, I like this game, but this is a bit much. Guys, I don't think you're going to get to see anything else than the ones that we played. I've played this twice already and I already forgot the controls. Poor Ralphie. If anyone thinks that Ralph isn't the best character in The Simpsons, you're wrong. You're not entitled to an opinion. I don't think there's a single character in The Simpsons that's had more one-liners in Alright, that's a lie. I know I'm already wrong. <laughs> I like Bart or Homer or whatever had a lot of great ones as well, but... On uh, terms of quality, I really think Ralph is the best. I mean... Sure, Bart had, you know, his various, you know, eat my shorts and... Uh, his various catchphrases like that that have gotten into, like, music and... The pop culture lexicon, but... Ralph is the only one that really had, you know, sort of memes, like, uh, uh, this is where, you know, his heart breaks in half with him and Lisa. Uh, I'd be able to think of more if I wasn't actively trying to win. 
That was a very limp-wristed throw. You could tell Bart really wasn't into, like, trying to hit, uh, months. I will hit Todd. Or, uh, whichever one of the brothers that is. I might actually do this, guys. Guys and girls, I'm not gonna hit him. I'm not gonna hit him. I really want to. Stop taunting me. Ah! Where's your god now? No! Oh. Ugh. Oh, hey, nothing. Oh, no, that did end it. Well, I was close. I mean, close is better than nothing. Am I right? It's better to have failed hard than to not have... Yeah, I don't know. I prefer to not have failed at all. <laughs> Especially if people are going to be watching it. Alright, we're going to give this one more shot. If I get the same game... Alright, actually, let's try practice. Hey, perfect. I could have done this from the beginning and saved everyone some time. But what are you going to do? Hindsight's 2020. My hindsight's. All right, so this is an apocalyptic road rage. Um, I'm I can't. All right, so I can kick. Fucking auto. This actually just makes me want to play Road Rage. I don't think I ever played the original Road Rage or the arcade version. I played the. Nintendo 64 Road Rages, which I recall was a lot of fun. I don't know if it held up to the franchise's uh, sort of expectations, but the N64 was the best system in the history of systems. Um, so I'm going to say it does. I'm going to say it was much better than every other version of the game, uh, just because I like the N64. And if you have a different opinion, you're wrong. Um, let's go with the infuriating baby part version. Oh, this fucking music. It's infuriating and makes me want ice cream. Which is also infuriating. Alright, so look at these flippity ass controls. No! I'm gonna get eerily silent now, because this is insanely difficult, considering I haven't gotten by the first tree yet. Fuck. Alright, we're moving on. We're moving on, folks. Squirrel! So I did really well there. Look at the jumps on Bart. I don't know how he became the chubby little bastard that we know and love, but back as a kid, he got some big height on his jumps. It's those fat little legs. They must have, like, tons of muscle in them. You imagine a baby just coming out of the mother's vagina, just all ripped and decked out and, like, Looking like he's been hitting the weights while, like, in the womb. No. I mean, that's... To me, that's as normal as, like, a, fucking hell. As normal as the baby coming out, like, with a full head of hair when that nonsense happens. How come there's only hair on their heads, but never on their lips? Like a little mustached baby. With, like, a nice, thick porno stash from the 70s. Like Burt Reynolds' baby. Alright, look at this nightmare fuel game. Fuck. I've never... There's... There we go. <laughs> so I release the pigs to just, like, get zapped by this evil clown. I've never been able to figure out how to get through this level. I don't know if there are multiple levels. There very well could be. That was violent. There could be other levels to this. Um, 
it's just impossible to actually find out. You can do it. How did I- there we go. Stop bouncing, baby boy. Alright. We got more pigs. Maybe that's the goal. It doesn't actually tell you. Maybe the goal is just to free all the pigs. Let's go with that. And I think now that I've freed them, I technically won. And the game just doesn't want to let me celebrate. I can't press that button. Bounce. Bounce. <laughs> That was my imitation of Krusty, by the way. Okay. If I recall correctly, this is not gonna end well. Yeah, so... Fuck. Well, let's hope I still have audio. I kinda just hit my microphone. I've got no way to get up there. And this doesn't seem to stop me from dying. That's not it. Come on guys, give me ideas. In the comments, give me an idea. I can't do it guys. I don't want to be a ham again. Fuck six. In the comments, I want to know, would you eat Soylent Green if it was a real thing? Uh, for those of you who don't know, Soylent Green... Uh, I don't remember if the movie was called Soylent Green or not. But it was basically a story about people being turned into food. Um, and I don't know. If it was a real thing, we have, you know, seven plus billion people on this planet. If some corporation just said, hey, we're gonna start, you know, slaughtering people and putting them into cans, and it's ten cents for a pound of human, would you eat it if it was safe to ingest? Serious question. Because, uh, I don't know. A dollar a pound, that's a pretty good deal. I'm just saying. I think I would try it, and if it tasted like bacon, um, well, too bad for everyone who's getting uh, killed for it, because, yeah, I'm gonna start eating people. As a matter of fact, um, officially, I think the stance of the CJ versus AJ podcast at least from CJ's point of view, is that it's completely fine to eat people. Um, you heard it here first, uh, please tell your friends. And like, comment, and subscribe. That's the end of this Let's Play. <laughs> Return where we don't talk about eating people and children committing suicide. Oh yeah, this game. This game was, uh, infuriating. And, uh, we are done. Views expressed in this video are not endorsed by all members of the CJ vs. AJ podcast.